Today you'll be creating an app for your Android device or tablet. Um, we'll be using the App Builder from MIT and it is this website here, appinventor.mit.edu. You'll need to create an account. So hit Create Apps. Use your Aurora K12, say Allow. and continue. Let me start a new project. This is the Talking Cat app. So now what we're going to do is we're going to download our pictures and sound to the computer. So if you go back to my website and then you're going to go down to use this link to download pictures and sounds for your app number nine. Okay, there's pictures of a cat, a fox, a dog, a bunny. Uh, so you guys can use any of those. Now you can use your own picture, but you only have three minutes to down to download it. So I don't want you to spend a lot of time looking for a picture. That's not the point of this. So you're going to click on your picture. and then you're going to have to hit the download button. So now you have your picture and you have your sound downloaded. And you're going to go to projects, new project. And then you're going to upload your picture. I think I'll download another one. I'll do the fox. Choose my file, say the fox. I'm going to click on fox and OK. Oh, first we have to drag the button over. So come back here. You're going to find button and drag it over. I'm going to click on that. Now we're going to change the properties of the button. So we're going to go and we're going to change the height by a percentage. So I'm going to say start out with 75 percent. Hit OK and then we'll do the width. We'll do 75 percent on this. And I don't know why the cat it, image is not showing up but it's not. So don't drive yourself crazy. Just pick another picture. And then right now it says text for button one. Well we can just get rid of that. So we've done that part. Okay now we're going to do another button and the button is going to say pet the cat or pet the kitten or pet the fox if you dare so I'm going to drag a button over and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change what it says down at where it says text pet the fox if you dare and then once I click over it's going to show that okay, you can change the color of your button so right now it's kind of gray. I don't really like that color. So that's kind of, I can't really see the word, so I'm going to change that. Okay, now we need to add the sound file. So we need, first of all, we need the sound icon. So I'm going to go over here to media. I'm going to put the sound in there. I'm going to upload the sound that we had downloaded before. So upload file, choose a file, and say OK. Back here to my MIT App Inventor. And I want to click on the sound. The source, we're going to say the dog growling. Or you can do whatever sound you want. Okay, now we're going to need to change to the coding. So we have what the user will see, so we have the user interface. Now we need to go to um, the coding so that we can make it do what we want. In the upper right hand corner on blocks, you'll go to a new screen. So we're going to go to blocks and it takes us to a new screen. This is for our coding. 
It says click on button one and grab the first block and drag it to the work area. So here's button one. We're gonna say one button one click, then it's going to do something. So when button one clicks, then it's going to so we're going to select the sound and drag the block out that says play and we're going to connect them. So I'm going to go to sound, call sound1.play, so I'm going to put that in there. So now you're going to test it. So you can either use a tablet or you can use the um, emulator. And I will demonstrate the emulator for you. You go to connect and then you go to emulator. It's starting it. It's going to take a second. And you can see the little, it looks like a hokey little phone. Kind of corny looking, but it works. And again, it does take a second, so you're going to have to be patient with it. And it says right here, connecting, starting the app emulator. So you open up your emulator. And then here's our app. And then if I click this, we should hear the sound. Well, have a good day, and thank you guys for listening.